I am no expert by any means, but I have learned and I'm continuing to learn how to work with wood and power tools. So my chickens that lay eggs in here at the farm needed a better roosting bar situation. We do have roosting bars currently in their coop, but I wanted something a little bit nice and provide a little bit more room. So with all the research that I did, I discovered that one chicken needs anywhere from 9 to 12 inches of space to roost, and they also need it to be a couple of feet off the ground, and they should be staggered, and they should be about 12 inches apart. So I found a bunch online, but they were so overpriced that I decided to make my own even with the rising cost in wood. So I actually gathered two by twos and I was going to build this a little bit differently and I decided to build it like a ladder. So I'm cutting this down to fit inside my coop so it can lean against my coop wall, one of my coop walls. And it's I'm able to remove it completely when I want to do a deep clean of the coop and I'm able to remove it if I want to place it in a newer coop if we move or anything like that or if the girls move. So I'm just measuring it out here and with my saw I am cutting it down. Now I also decided, well I should say my husband gave me the suggestion to do the actual roosting bars um, round instead of square because I did read that they prefer that. They do not prefer metal or plastic because they can be slippery and cold during the winter months months here in the Midwest. So I decided to do wood dowel rods. And those are about, uh, I would say, a little under two inches and all the supplies here I got at Home Depot. So I measured and cut to size and I did four actual roosting bars and I actually have nine laying chickens right now. So that should be plenty of space for them to be able to climb up to the top of the ladder or whatnot and able to roost with enough room. So I'm taking my tape measure, a pencil measuring and cutting and that is all I am doing here. Now, once I had everything all measured out, I was going to actually wood glue this and I decided it would be a lot easier if I pre-drill my holes and line them up. And the screws I'm actually using are deck screws that are meant to be outdoors. I felt like if for some reason this roosting bar was outside, which most likely it won't be, but if it does um, get exposed to the elements, that there won't be anything like rust and things like this. And the wood here is all pre-treated, so it should withstand um, the weather conditions. Um, And I am going to actually sand everything down at the end because um, I don't want any of my chickens to get injured on the roosting bar, so you're not going to see any sanding right now. I'm going to do that completely in the end outdoors just so... Um, I am coming from in and out of the house because it is cooler or colder, I should say, outdoors. And this was just a little bit simpler to do in my home. And then I sanded everything outside. So here I am pre-drilling all the two by twos. I'm going to pre-drill all of the dowel rods. And then I'm going to attach them all with those deck screws. And then once it's all done, I'm going to sand it. This project was very, I think it's very simple. So if you're an expert in power tools and an expert in building things, this will probably take you less than an hour. It is so easy. Um, I think the hardest part is gathering the supplies because I don't live close to a big box or any box store that sells wood. So that was like the most tedious, but total, because I am a beginner, it took me less than four hours and it just took me a little bit of mental um, time because I had to figure out exactly what I wanted to do because I did look at a couple plans either online or in books and for my particular coop, they just weren't going to work and I wanted something that was going to work for what my current situation is right now.
As always, the full description details and everything will be linked below in the description box. There's always a blog post that'll go with it and kind of break it down if you like to see things a little bit more visually. But after I sand everything down, I kind of, I wiped it down with a wet towel just to get any debris off. And then I ran my hand across it to see if there was any rough edges because I, because I do not want any rough edges. I do not want my chickens to get hurt on something that I created for them. So once that's done, I placed it inside my chicken coop and it worked perfectly. And I think this is going to be nice. Now I could do this, um, build it like, um, a triangle shape and attach it with fasteners. But maybe in the future, I have that option with this particular style that I decided to go with. But for right now, it's going to serve its purpose until I can arrange or do a little bit different um, chicken coop come spring because I'm looking to expand my flock and I need a little bit bigger space for them. And I would like a yard because I do host um, parties in my in part of my property. Yeah, my girls are in that area, so I want a yard where I can kind of keep them contained where they are not visiting with my company. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video when it does come out. And give me a thumbs up if you are motivated to create something for your homestead that's super affordable, on a budget, and it's easy. It's easy, beginner-friendly project. Hi ladies. Hi ladies, you like the roosting bars? Huh? Hi ladies. I think they like it, Rosie. You know there's a top one, right? Do you like it, ladies? Okay. Are you liking it? Do you love it? Did I do a good job? Yeah? Thank you. Thank you, lady. All right, girls. You love it? She likes it. She likes it. You guys probably need a mosey on up there. Mm -hmm.